Welcome to Medicine in a Nutshell, Guide to Inserting an IV Cannula. Prepare. Flush. Blood bottles. Tourniquet. Clean. Insert. Level off the cannula. First flashback. Advance. Second flashback. Advance fully. Flush. Dressing. Document. The key to success is preparation. You will need a tourniquet, a cleaning stick and wipes, a needle, syringe and bottle of saline for your flush, a bionectar, an appropriately sized cannula, blood bottles and adapter if you plan to also take blood, a dressing and some cotton wool and tape just in case. Check saline is in date and clean the bottle with an alco wipe. Draw up your flush using the needle and syringe. Prep your bionectar with a small amount of saline. This is to remove the air. Prepare any blood bottles by connecting them to the adapter. Prepare your dressing with the date written. Gain informed consent for the procedure. Next, prepare your patient by selecting an appropriate arm and placing it on an absorbent sheet. Next, tie your tourniquet approximately 3 to 5 inches above where you plan to insert your cannula. The tourniquet should be tied so that it is easily releasable, like so. Select an appropriate vein. The vein should be as large and as straight as possible. Bend the wrist and pull the skin tight over the knuckle to straighten and anchor the vein. Choose an appropriate entry point. If possible, try to avoid the length of the cannula crossing the joint. Hold the cannula firmly using your index and middle finger on the wings and your thumb on the back of the cannula to control the needle. Clean the area of skin in a cross-hatched pattern. Insert the tip of the cannula at an acute angle, straighten and advance a few millimetres. Keep the skin tight to anchor the vein. Gently advance the stilette of the cannula. Again, close up. Warn the patient of a sharp scratch on insertion. Observe the first flashback of blood in the chamber of the cannula. Retain the tension of the skin. Observe the second flashback along the tube as you advance. Release the tourniquet if you do not plan to take blood. Securing the cannula with your hand, remove the needle completely and place in the sharps bin. When taking blood, occlude the vein with your middle finger and stabilise the cannula with your thumb or index finger. Attach the adapter and blood bottle to take the blood sample, making sure to stabilise the cannula. Aspirate the blood slowly. Release the tourniquet. Holding the cannula securely again, occlude the vein. Raise the arm to ensure there is no blood loss. Attach the bionectar and flush. Gently inject the flush, making sure there is no swellings or pain around the site as you do this. Now secure the cannula using the strips of tape over the wings, making sure you don't obstruct the view of the entry site. Place the rest of the dressing over the cannula, making sure the entry site is visible through the clear window. Don't forget to add your dated label at the side of the dressing. Finally, clip the end of the bionectar so that it is neat and secure. Wash your hands and thank the patient, making sure the flush is prescribed and the procedure is documented in the patient's notes.